this is Lewis. Um, I'm driving my van and it's doing something strange for the last couple of days. Um, the lights seem to turn on and off on the dash. I'm driving right now. Um, and <clears throat> I was thinking that maybe, well first, when that was happening, my alternator was bad, so I replaced it. And then everything's been fine for about a month. Now, now I was doing it again, and um, and right now, of course, it's not flickering because I'm recording, but I'll have to show you in a second once it starts doing it. See that? See those flickers? Like all the lights in the dash and all the doors open up, you know, they all like turn on. <clears throat> it looks like a battery light turns on and well anyways I was driving a little while ago and my battery my whole van just died and lucky for me I was close to AutoZone and they told me that the problem is possibly just the terminal on top of the positive you see all the lights are on it all depends on um, I don't know it just does it randomly but uh, the guy told me that because there's so much play because my positive is so old positive terminal that it moves so much so because it moves that's what that's what causes the flickering of the light so he told me I ended up buying this at AutoZone a universal terminal uh, and he said that I pretty much replace it and see if it works so when I replace it hopefully that's the fix and hopefully um, it won't be no cable issue because if there's a cable issue there's tons of cables running around and that's gonna be a pain in the butt to find but I'm so convinced that that's the terminal so let's find out if it's the terminal so I got me this Duralast gold um, universal battery terminal and I'm gonna replace the positive one to see if that's where the problem's at uh, it's gonna be the first time so um, when it's done, I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll see. As you guys can see, my terminal looks really bad. And the last mechanic that worked on it, he put a bolt in there to make sure it stays. But as you can see, there, there is a little play in it. So let's find out. So as you can see, I cut the old, the old one out. And I got the new one in. So I put the cables all together and crimped them down real, real tight and tightened the terminal super tight so that there's no move at all. And the negative will go on and let's see if it works. All right, <clears throat> it's the moment of truth. About to turn the key. If there's flashing lights, I'm gonna be so upset because. I just froze outside in the wind and I'm so afraid of electricity even though I'm pretty sure I knew I was going to get electrocuted. I hate electricity. So please be fixed. Here we go. If it's not fixed, the battery light will be on and a whole bunch of the lights. So here we go. I think I fixed it. I don't know. That top light is the seat belt, so that's, or the, I don't know what that is, the airbag. So let's go for a drive. I'm gonna go for a drive around the block and there's no, no lights flashing, I think we're good. I'll give my wife her car back. I'll get my truck back because I missed my truck. But look at that. And it makes me wonder this mechanic had told me that it was the alternator and I got it replaced. But then he put a bolt to keep the positive stuck in there. And now it did it again. So now with a $4 part with a brand new terminal, look at that. No problems. Genius! Thank you for watching.